Hi, I'm Frank Atwood. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a, a, a must watch video. Please make this video go viral. I know you hear that from all kinds of people on YouTube all the time, but this video is so that you, as an individual who likes to move their own stuff in, in, a, in a rental truck, does not end up having to pay for a rental truck. Okay? So, I just came back. I got the last of my stuff that was in Georgetown, Texas. Um, you see from this, if you have up, you've been spotted. I was a little cocky. Don't do that, all right? This is my second trip. The first trip, I noticed some people following me and their little rice burner Scions or whatever they are, little little tiny Nissan, little sporty little cars. Uh, the first time I came out here in December. And I was e easily able to give them the slip, okay? This time, however, they're using a different method. This time, they're tracking the low jack that is built into these trucks. Well, not built in, but uh, uh, attached to the truck. And that, don't let that lady at the budget place tell you it's a, a, a toll thing there, a toll pass, because it's not. This is the low jack right here. I don't know if you can see it that well. I'll, I'll bring the camera down. This is the low jack right here. It says Air IQ on it. I've unplugged mine. I recommend you to do the same thing. If you have, if you can't get another person to go with you on this trip, if you're going as far as I did, I went from Georgetown, Texas, all the way up here to Maine, and I did it in 48 hours. Well, yeah, roughly 32 to 36 hours, and then I stayed up a few more hours because there was, they were upset that they lost a the vehicle. What happened was I had a bunch of those punk kids. Um, I had some inconspicuous people follow me. When I got east of Nashville, okay, they're a little bit more reserved and a little harder to spot, but I still noticed them. You're going to notice the same license plates over and over again. And I'm not talking about people just traveling with you. Oh, they're just merry travelers. Don't buy into that crap. People are going to tell you that. What if they're just people traveling like you? Don't buy into that. You're going to notice. You'll know when you see someone who's out there and just on the road traveling and you're going to know when somebody's just being an idiot and you keep seeing the same idiot over and over again same plate and they're they're keeping pace with your truck and they're noticing that i'm telling you, you're going to notice when i got past new york city and i went across the bridge and all i paid 74 dollars whatever it was in tolls don't care at that point i was so tired once I got out of New York City and I got into Danbury, Connecticut, that's when I started to notice the Fast and the Furious Tide sucking pods. Uh, the little kids come racing around in their cars, acting stupid, right? Um, <laughs> I'm just laughing, you know, because I'm like, oh, oh, you're real bad. Ooh, it's a tough gang. Anyway, they were following me and doing this stuff, and, and there was a semi, and the semi was actually the point man. He's actually calling the people in, this, in the cars because they would get off and they would disappear. And then when they come back, but I kept seeing the same plates. There were there were like Connecticut plates, there were New Hampshire plates, and there were Massachusetts plates. All right, and even a couple Maine plates. So they're working as a gang up and down 95, I 95. They're working on the toll highway. They're working that section of highway as a group, and you'll see the same plate numbers over and over again, just as I did. Remember, I'm driving through this area at 3 a.m. Nobody should be up at 3 a.m. Who's out racing around at 3 a.m.? Idiots, right? Or you're, in, you're, you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. Anyway, I'm driving up. Um, this was hooked up at the time. And when I got into Maine, I was like, okay, they screwed up. I, they let me get to Maine. And I stopped at the big stop down there in Maine, the big well-lit gas station as you enter the state of Maine. And there's a guy even sitting in the booth out there. So I pull up, you know, I get my gas, and then I'm like, oh, they messed up, so they're in my neck of the woods now. So I get up here, and when I get closer to home, uh, I notice some, one of the cars, and I was like, okay, let me see how stupid this person is. And I put my blinker on, and that person got off on the blinker because they were ahead of me. They had pulled around. I jammed on the brakes, and they went around, and then they, they moved up a little bit, and then they got off the exit. Well, I, I left my blinker on because they were riding their brakes up the exit real slow. And then right when I got up to the exit, I turned my blinker off and I kept going. And that intersection, you have to wait for the lights and to turn. You just can't do a UE. You'll get nailed by the cops. They're usually at that. It was a big intersection. So they had to wait and, and they had to call somebody say, oh, I lost him. He tricked me, blah, 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 whatever. So anyway, I lost that person. And then I, I cut to a side road because they're in my neck of the woods. I know this area better than they do. 
And so I pull off to the side and I'm thinking to myself, this is not a toll pass. This has got to be what they're using to track me, this low jack thing. I said, if I get down to the next exit down there in Bath and they come shooting out, I know they got a guy with equipment who's tracking that. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. A white van that had the red and white bumper sticker, the caution tape on the bumper sticker, you know, like you stole it from a job site. Anyway, it had some weird looking dome on the top. It was kind of flat like those ski things that they put skis in. Kind of like that. It looked like it was man-made anyway. Um, that that van, I had seen it in New Hampshire. And I also saw, he was he was with the idiots when they were racing around. And we were on that stretch of highway in New Hampshire when you when you change and it gets it like goes to a narrow thing and does a big loop to head you north to New Hampshire. It's like the highway starts to run out and it just makes you do a big loop and then you go up, up north towards New Hampshire. There's nobody out there at 3 a.m. except the idiots racing around, you know, being stupid, and that van. Well, I see that van again in Bath. That's what I knew. That's the equipment van. I did the same thing to him. I jammed on the brakes. He had to go around. He started yelling at, you know, at the window when he was going. I gave him the finger. He just punched it and went ahead. They're thinking, hey, I'm tracking the low jack. He can't get away. They don't know me. I got down here. Nobody was following me. I was like, perfect. Nobody followed me to that. Awesome. When I get down my road, which is hard, if, you don't, if you've never been down my road, you'll probably drive right by it. And sure enough, I get down my road, first thing I do, go in here, unplug this. There's only one plug for it. It's on the top right here. You just push that tab and pull it out. I unplug it, take it downstairs, wrap in stereo foam and electrical tape, stick it in a bin, put more stereo foam on top of it, hide it in the basement and that concrete down there. Signal was so weak. All I hear was a van driving up and down the hill, up and down the hill, turn around, right? And you could tell it was the same vehicle because you, you get to know tires when you hear the same sound over and over. It's the same exact vehicle. Driving all the way to the top of the hill, all the way down, just can't figure out where it is, can't pinpoint it, right? So now he's got to call them back and tell them, I lost the van. And then they're going to, I'm sure he's in trouble with the gang. They're like, you said it was in the bag. He can't get away. What happened? So... Like I said, they're using these. My buddy told me that a friend of his lost a truck because he stopped at a hotel. And of course he didn't know people were using the low jack stuff. They just, oh, he's at this hotel right over here. There's the truck right there. They just drive up with the equipment. They go eat dinner and then they drive around. Oh, there it is, boop. And they come over and they jack you. Oh, it's late enough, he's probably asleep. And go in there and jack your truck, all right? Um, you say, oh, well, it can't happen. This cameras, people don't care about cameras anymore. Um, as long as they cover their face and their head and they're wearing clothes, whatever, you're not going to be able to identify them. And the cops aren't really going to work that hard to find it. So protect yourself. Always have two drivers. Beg somebody to drive with you. Don't let your teenage daughter drive her stuff to college in a, in a truck by herself, especially if she's going through the major metropolitan areas of Danbury, Connecticut, all the way up to Maine. If she's go coming from Connecticut to Maine to go to school, don't let her do it. If she can't make that drive in a single night, which she, most people won't, I'm an, ex an exception to the um, to the rule because I've done this in the military many, many times. I've been up for days, all right? So it was nothing for me to stay up late. I know little tricks to keep myself awake. Plus, with all the action going on, who's going to go to sleep then anyway, right? So that's what I, I did, and I'm just trying to save you a headache. So please, if you know someone who's getting ready to do a move, Share this video. Share it even if you don't know some, someone who's going to do a move. I'd hate for someone to be on the hook for a $30,000 truck because they, oh no, I didn't get the insurance. What? Insurance is expensive, but better to have it than not have it. And when you get your truck, a day before you go actually do the move, like right before you load or whatever, unplug this. The battery part of this will, will, will die in, in about a day. And when you get on the road, they won't be able to track it like this so long as you intend to keep driving. If you don't intend to keep driving, leave it hooked up, because if it gets stolen, that's how they find the truck, all right? So I hope this helps you out, and uh, if it did, please give it a, th a thumbs up, a like, and please share it with as many people as you know so they don't become a victim, all right? That's all I have for now. We'll see you again soon. Bye.